Hello, I'm Tristan, and welcome back to Moxie 3 Athrica. So, we've been assassinated uh, quite a few times so far, so we've got a new plan. We need to prevent assassinations, we need to placate the women, and then whatever else we need to do. But we need to do those two things very early. We also need to extend our term. Extending our term will allow us to fix the, like, country and make people like us before we get, like, kicked out of office. So, new game, and today we're going to try out... Senegal or Ghana. Now, uh, basically, I think that vaguely it goes from left to right in easiest to most difficult. Like, Mauritius is the African miracle, whereas over here, Egypt is going through a civil war, kind of. Um, and also, you know, Nigeria is the most corrupt. Oh, no, Kenya is the most corrupt. Nigeria is corrupt, but even lower democracy. So, I guess we're going slightly easy by doing this, but we've kind of used ones over there. So, we're going to go for Senegal. Or Ghana. And I think what we'll do is we'll probably pop out... Ooh, which one? That's more corrupt. And the democracy is slightly less. Okay, well, we'll knock out Senegal. So Senegal is... Um, kind of, I think it's got a large agricultural base. It's mostly Muslim, although it's a secular country. Gender inequality is high. There's 30% uh, female genital mutilations. Yeah, lovely country. So we're going to give this one a try. Fairly low GDP. Democracy is still, you know, 6.15, so it's better than the other places. And the corruption percentage is 43, so... Not terrible. Not great, certainly. Life expectancy of 60. And we are going to be against the Free Patriotic Union. And we will be... The Greedo... No, the Hand Shot first. Hand Shot... First, Alliance. Against, I can know we've changed this. The Greedo Union. No, 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 no. The Lucas. I can't even spell Lucas. Lucasite Meddlers Party. There we go. So we're the Handshot First Alliance. Now, we have still got assassinations on. I did turn them off temporarily to test the game and have a look at, like, oh, is it possible without assassinations? Yeah, it's possible without assassinations. So crime is lowish, could get lower. Uh, GDP, health, education, employment. It's all generally fine. We've got to fix asthma, uh, poor infrastructure, brownouts, homelessness, I think that is. Yes. Malaria. Hello. Health. It's being reduced by it quite massively. Uh, okay. So we've got to face down malaria. What's this? Cyclical natural disaster. Okay, so I guess it's monsoon season or something? I don't know too much about Senegal to really uh, know what it is, but I assume it's like monsoon season or something. Uh, it's got a knock-on effect on everyone. If we can, like, get better infrastructure, that's fine. But infrastructure takes a long time to implement, so I don't think it's something we can really affect. Skill shortage. Education takes a long time. Technology backwater, even longer. Uncompetitive economy. Hmm. If you want to generate like, you can't ever stop this. Because you need to get to literally exactly zero. Even one case... We'll keep it going. It's really annoying that the stop trigger is all the way down here. I think it's effectively never meant to be stopped. But it's kind of annoying that you just can't ever stop it. Um, so literally, I don't think we can fix any of those. Our income looks like a hexadecimal number. We've got massive debt. Four times our GDP. And our expenditure is... So we actually got a surplus right now. Okay. So, right, we need to have a look at our security. Ineffective security. Okay. Well, let's start implementing security. Let's also... Where's press freedom? Press freedom is high. Let's make it none. The reason I do this is, look, everybody likes this. If we get rid of the press, people like us. The reason is, like, people never find out about the things that they don't like. Now, liberals aren't going to like it. And corruption is going to increase. Actually, no. Corruption just won't have the debuff. And democracy will certainly drop a long way. A long way. But everybody likes us. 
So I'm going to do that. And it takes a lot of political capital. So we're down to 15 now. Legalized prostitution. Oh, conservatives hate that. Religious hate it. GDP goes up slightly. Conservatives make up a lot of the... We've also got a lot of socialists. So in this country, we can actually pander to socialists or conservatives or rural or motorists. Okay. Now, it's very hard to get women to like you for some reason, even if you try and tackle gender inequality. I guess because it just takes such a long time to get affected. Hmm. Alright, let's look at this. Petrol is 10%. That's fine. Capital gains tax. I should probably cancel this because it has a negative effect on GDP. Um, it, God, it does cause a little bit of socialism, but the negative effect on GDP is annoying. People just don't want to invest if they're effectively the investments get taxed on. Income tax, I'll raise this more. Probably to about 60%. Raising costs a lot though, so I can't do it this turn. Sales tax. Self-employed, capitalist, equality. Honestly, it's something that I'll, if I have the money, I'd get rid of. Just get rid of sales tax and just have income tax. Much easier. I mean, it's probably true for real life. Inheritance tax. Not bad. Although I think, imagine, I imagined like cranking up inheritance tax will make brain drain a factor. Uh, corporation tax. What's petrol? Oh, I looked at that. It's 10%. Alcohol tax. Okay. Student Thought and Association is not quite high already. Okay, what can we get for our 13 political capital? It's not very much. Female genital mutilation ban. Implement that immediately. Remember, we've got to get the women to like us. What else can we get? I've got eight left. Gender Discrimination Act. Conservatives hate it. Hmm. At least we get democracy from it, though, which is good, because that'll offset the democracy we get from not having no press. Or at least no freedom of the press. I guess we have press, they just do exactly what we tell them to do. It's like being in Russia. Credit rating upgraded. Oh, we're now AAA. Hello. Uh, still got surplus, blah, blah, blah. Power report, blah, blah, blah. Crime's going down. Right, we've got 46 this turn. I think what we should probably do is get out some of our law and order ideas nice and quickly. So, oh, gated communities. People like that. And honestly, liberalism goes down slightly. Equality goes down slightly. Liberals don't like it very much. Crime goes down a little bit. Conservatives love it. The wealthy love it. It's a great thing to get the conservatives on the side. And it has a minimal effect on anyone else. So, yeah, sure. Have some gated communities. Front language quick kill. Yep, we'll have that. It's great, except for patriots. How many patriots are there? Not many. Right, so we can piss off the patriots. That's fine. I want to know how much they like me. Where do I find that out? It's just annoyed with the government. Okay. Law and order. Let's get... We've got most of the... Ah, oh, we can't get the expensive ones. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's fine. Community policing is really popular. Let's implement it. Liberalism goes up. Racial tension goes down. Violent crime is down. Crime goes down. Liberals go up. Sure. Let's grab that. Anything else we can grab? Uh, ooh, taxes. Micro-generation grants. An again, another thing to really good at getting rid of power blackouts. And transport, telecommuting initiative, that might improve infrastructure. Yes, it does. Urban membership goes down. But urbans like it. Car usage goes down. Parents love it. Basically, it's really, really useful. Ooh, what's this? Mineral. Ah, because uh, we produce a lot of diamonds, I think. Yeah, we're one of the top, like, the tenth uh, biggest exporter for diamonds. Now... Diamonds are very interesting because actually, strictly, they should be worthless because there are loads of diamonds. Like, seriously, there are a lot of diamonds. But the thing is, there is a global monopoly. The De Beers Diamond Corporation has a global monopoly on diamonds. And in which, so, like, that means that effectively, although they're really common, they just have them all. And they're like, yeah, we're only going to release, like, 
10 a year. They don't release 10 times a year, obviously. But they release like a very small amount. And because there's so little in circulation, the price is really high. It doesn't matter how many there are. It depends how many there are in circulation. Smoking ban. Uh, yeah, I'll ban it. I need to buff my health in any way possible. Still 0%. Farmers are annoyed, although when it says this, I'm not sure it's really telling me the truth, because it's always like someone's annoyed at you. We need to try and cut people getting off in here, but it's very hard to do. Women's society, stable. Ah. Okay. Still ineffective. Um, how much does it cost to crank up the intelligence service? Yeah, let's crank them up all the way to there. Now remember, all we've got to worry about is getting re-elected. Uh, wiretapping. Liberals are going to hate this. Okay, so basically, liberals are going to hate us, whatever. Let's just play to the socialists and hopefully the conservatives, which is weird. Playing to like socialists and conservatives at the same time. Very strange. Do we have toll roads over here? Yes, we do. Crank them way up, we get infrastructure. Now, motorists don't like it. But we get more infrastructure. And the important thing is getting infrastructure. Yeah, so those are improving. Right, what else can we get? Ah, agri-dealer network. Now, this is ex like takes two years to implement. So... By the next election, if we don't extend the election cycle. But it would raise the prices effectively for our farmers, which they'd love. So yeah, we're going to grab that next turn. National team wins cup. Oh yeah. Uh, youth like us. Everyone likes us. Quite frankly, I'm happy with that outcome. Okay. Sweet. Um, still getting... People starting to like us. A little bit. Right. See, everyone likes us because we've got repressed freedom. It's great. Uh, right. We need to figure out a way to get re-elected. But we've only got 37. I think we're just going to hold on to this until next turn. Children's food. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, regulate the children's food. Let's do it. 3% of the vote already. Okay, we're up to 59 now. That should be enough to extend our term. Oh, we've already got an executive term of seven. Sweet. I didn't, I didn't order that, did I? Oh, that's awesome. Right. I have a term limit, though. So I'm just going to raise that to none. So effectively, I can keep going forever. Now, the problem is that has knocked on the democracy pretty heavily. So hopefully we won't get, like, you know, crazy... Uh, Uprisings, but we're going to have to just see. Um, what is there? Freedom of Information Act. Yeah, we'll get that. That has a bonus to democracy. So that'll try and outweigh. Feminist plot. Feminist plot already. There we go. Lovely. Disgruntled farmers. Really? I've already tried to like help the farmers. GM food. We'll allow the GM crops. It'll hopefully help the farmers out. Okay. How's the feminist plot looking? Matrix of Justice. The Land Army is still higher than the Matrix of Justice. And the Women's Society are actually losing members now. Now, the Rural Alliance, I still need to please them. So, farmers. How can I please the farmers? Where is it? Rural. They like the agri -de dealer network. They like foreign aid. Conservatives probably don't like foreign aid. No, patriots don't like it. Let's maximize it. Yeah. Mm. Agricultural subsidies would do it. Yeah, let's do it. Although, organic farming subsidy... Some people see it as a point of distortion, which should be a free market. Environmentalists will like it. Let's look. Environmentalists. There's a few in the country. An 
and it's cheaper. Sure. So environmentalists, rural, health, we get rural income goes up, environmental income goes up, rural membership goes up, and capitalists dislike it slightly. How many capitalists do we have? Not that many. Okay. Yeah, we can run with this. And we're still making a surplus, which is great. I didn't have to, like, alter the tax laws yet. Intellectual property rights. Yeah, let's implement that. Here's the poor a little bit. Capitalist, technology, foreign investment, foreign relations go up. And there we go. One zero. Sweet. Protest march against gender inequality. Can I, like, choose to march with them? 4% of the vote. Okay, we're doing well. Still disgruntled farmers, failed assassination attempt. Five armed women converging on the government headquarters. <sighs> it's women. The women are trying to, like, murder me again. Um, security ad Adequate security. Okay. Now, let's get in all the security measures we can right now. Tasers. Uh, police drones. Like, honestly, like, just grab them. I, I would get more, but I can't afford them. So, tasers. Right? You're cheap. Liberals hate me with this one weird trick. Don't be assassinated. Oh, for God's sake. Women again. Um, CCTV cameras. Yeah, people like CCTV cameras. Conservatives love it. I'm, like, I'm afraid every time I click, I'm going to be assassinated by women. There we go. Assassinated by women. Ah! You're being victim of a carefully planned assassination. A group of extremists known as Matrix of Justice opposed to your government's patriarchal agenda. I didn't have a patriarchal agenda! Stowed and detonated bomb when your press conferences. You and a number of mysterious ladies be killed. You turn a blind eye to the concerns of women across the nation. Right, let's, let's just have a look at this, right? If we weren't assassinated, school sponsorship, uh... You know, whatever, whatever. It'll get us more money for our schools, right? Um, six percent of the people are going to vote for us now. Gender inequality. It, it still hasn't, like, made a difference because... Conservatives and religious are just, like, terrible. But I introduced the Gender Discrimination Act. I put a ban on female genital mutilation. And... They don't care. Look at them, there's only 300 in the bloody group. And that time I like, I went like straight forwards, like I am going to take down, you know, the groups with security measures and I'm also going to try and please them. I literally, that's the two things I did at the start. What we're going to do is, just because we've got so much time left, is we're going to continue on. If we get assassinated again, yeah, we'll call it quits. But we have lost, I'm aware, but we'll continue on. Since we have got a load of time left and see what would happen if we weren't assassinated. I imagine it would be we'd be assassinated again. Um, but we'll give it a try. Please, drones. Implement. I don't care at this stage. Everything. I need to live. I'm going to die next time, aren't I? Failed assassination attempt. Yep, women again. 7% of the vote. Airplane crashes. Education's going up. One of my ministers wants to leave. Yeah, well, I'll have a look next turn and uh, flip you around. I need to save up for ID cards, detention without trial, death penalty, curfews, torture, corporal punishment. There we go. We've got good security now. But we're going to have to save up this turn. Yeah, it was women again. 50% of the vote. Oh, we really haven't got very much. I think I need to replace people. Let's reshuffle the cabinet. Foreign policy! Uh, yeah, you're pretty good foreign policy. Yeah, yeah well. All right, let's get you. You're good with women and liberals. Welfare. We had... Yeah, you're good at welfare. We'll grab you. 
Basically, if you've got 4.3, I want you. I want as much political capital as possible right now. 4.4. I'm just going to look at the numbers. 3.4. Four point one. Three point three is the highest so far. Three point four. Three point four it is. Law and order. Three point three. Three point two. Three point three. Law and order. Three point three. Yes, there we go. Right, that should get us a good amount of capital. 26 per turn. Leader capital zero. I have zero capital? Oh. I'm not very powerful as a leader. I can't really implement any more law and order things because of that. That's annoying. Um, in which case, we'll put in like family planning. Oh, piss off conservatives, but the women will like it. All right, what about maternity leave? It's going to really hit our productivity, but let's do it. And, like, companies are not going to like it. Again, the women tried to kill me. 24% the vote. Oh, we've got a lot now. There we go. Yeah, yeah. 18 leader capital. Okay, well. Law and order. I would like... I could get torture use. ID cards. Takes a long time to implement. People don't like that one, though. Let's get ID cards. Liberals hate it. Crime goes, honestly, so what? Liberals are never going to like me. Let's just not make liberals. Let's make socialists, but not liberals. Liberal plot. Okay, the Freedom League. Might that makes sense, right? Liberals trying to kill me makes sense. I've got only 18% of the vote. What? That dropped massively. Everyone dislikes me. I guess it's because of the airplane crash and the sports team. Yeah. Right, how are we doing with these? Getting them a little bit lower. I'm just going to up this a little bit. That should be enough to get rid of the uh, infrastructure issues. Now, what happens if I mess with this? Religious don't like us. How are the religious at the moment? Oh, there's lots of them. Cancel legalized prostitution. That'll make the conservatives happy. And then... I'm trying to think what else we can do. I don't need to mess with this at the moment. What do we need to do? We need to fix the world. I mean, I could do this, and that will get rid of the technologically backwater. But the religious membership goes down, but the religious hate us. So I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. Maybe I should just mess with the basic education. It'll take time to enact. Ah, uh, insufficient political capital. Got four, that's fine. Next turn. Don't kill me! Freedom League! Okay. That makes sense. Liberals trying to kill me makes a lot of sense. 47% of the vote. Wow! That jumped massively. That's what happens when you please the conservatives. I get an election campaign based off of just banning prostitution, apparently. And the religious like me. Okay, apparently. That works for me. Okay, what else can we do? Let's 
Science funding. This seems like an obvious one to me. Removes technology backwater. Let's have particle accelerators in Senegal. Why not? Okay, what else can we get? Could we get... Ooh, stem cell research. Uh, religious or haters. Faith school, school prayers, state religion, government indemnity. I was looking for financial service regulation, which I can't get. Capital equipment subsidy is really costly. But it's going to be really good for us in the long term. Alternatively, technology grants. Yeah, let's do that. Religious membership goes down, employment go unemployment goes down, technology goes up, GDP goes up, productivity and capitalists. Yes, let us grab that. I know it costs us 20 billion. Um, we've still got quite a good surplus. So I'm wondering what we can do now, like our extra political capital. How many elderly we got? Because I can make the elderly happy by giving them, ah, uh, not many of them, by giving them bus passes, but it won't matter. There's not enough of them to really... Ooh, actually, homelessness. We can get rid of that really easily by doing state housing. It's expensive. But I think it also pleases socialists. Yeah. It's going to be really expensive, but it should fix the homelessness overnight. Screw it, let's do it. Full whack. And hopefully, that'll fix our issues. Now, we're going to end the episode here, and we're going to continue it. Bear in mind that I have got assassinated already once, and we've let ourselves have a do-over, because I'm kind of getting a little bit fed up of being assassinated every single time right now, no matter what I do. I think this time we've played it pretty much bang on. If I did it again, I'd pretty much do exactly the same. Maybe focus a little bit more on security early on, but whatever. Um... I'm pleased with how it's going so far. We managed to make this conservatives like us. The socialists are going to love that move. Uh, farmers like it. Religious people love us too, apparently. Just banning prostitution is apparently a way to get yourself elected. Um, overall, I think our next term after this is going to have to be a focus on trying to decrease the religious numbers by messing around with the education. And then trying to bump the... I mean, I don't know what I can do to please the liberals. I've got to do something to stop them being terrorists, but I can't please everybody, and I kind of think that I have to tank one group, it would be the Liberals. That said, though, there's a lot of people in the Liberal group. You know? It's not, like, an inconsiderable number of people there. So, maybe once this term is over, or maybe once we've got a secure, you know, chunk of the population, we can start placating the Liberals a little bit. Not too much, because that would require getting rid of our security, and then they'll just murder us. What's our security effectiveness right now? Good. Okay. I mean, I don't think I need to do detention without... I'll do detention without trial. I'll just do it for a very limited amount of time. Curfews, I don't think I'll do. Torture, I don't think I'll do. Corporal punishment, I don't think I'll do. Right now, the... Where are they? The Freedom League. It's got 87 people, and they are the people trying to assassinate us. But at least none of them are particularly high. I mean, certainly more than half, but... For now... I think we're good. I've been out listening. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Let me know what you think about the uh, the saves coming. I do think it's maybe just so we can have a little bit of fun for once because we've got assassinated nearly... No, no, not nearly every time. Every time we've got assassinated so far. And it might be good to see what happens after the assassination if you, you know, for instance, hadn't died. Um, but we will try and not do that in future. This is just a one-time do-over just to see what happens. But, you know... Let me give, give me your feelings down below. I am interested to see those. But until next time, stay shining.